Have you guys seen? So I'm cleaning out my closet. <laughs> yo, <laughs> burr, burr, yo. Burr, burr. I got no snare on my headphones. So have you guys seen the? Uh, Hold there's, on. There's, no, there's a remix of um, the Eight Mile soundtrack song. I don't know what the fuck the name of the lead um, track is on that. You lose yourself. Yeah. Um, they remixed it to take most of the lyrics and make it say "Mom Spaghetti." But he, he says mom spaghetti me, in the song. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> but he says mom spaghetti in the song. Yeah, he does. But they take that sound bite right. where he says mom spaghetti right. and they put it in like everywhere else. Oh, so this is just like, that's like it's no like, lyric did almost. It's like, mom spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Lame. <coughs> it's a- fucking hilarious. Anyways, uh, welcome to Sequel Podcast. I'm Matt Bonta. Hello, Hunter. Garcia. And I'm Corey. Easily. Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> so what's going on, guys? What it is? It is a day. It is a day. Me and Corey talked earlier before Alex showed up late. Sorry, I was eating. Wow, why 17 minutes? It's kind of hard to like find your schedule when your kid plans it for you. <laughs> it's true. I have a kid, and I know this shit. You do? I was arguing with mine about getting in the pool like right before I left. You wanted to go swimming? He's like... We in the pool after dinner? And I was like, well, Daddy, that's up to Mommy, because Daddy's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's not coming back. <laughs> Daddy's never coming home again. I would love to. <laughs> where, where, did, where did Daddy go? This is a callback from an earlier episode, Alex. You missed out on that one. Unless you listened. It was it was called Mommy's Not Coming <laughs> Back. <laughs> Mommy's Not Coming Back. Mommy's Not Coming Home. Was it Mommy's Not Coming Back? Or mommy's not coming home. One or the other. Something like uh, that. I don't remember Genius. What we said. It was fucking comedy gold. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was really super good. Alex, what are you up to? Uh, you work now. Hey, so I finally got the electrician thing. Okay. Yeah. So I got, you're not... On the day of your party, I got home. And a letter right there on the table let, telling me that I got accepted in the start of September 11th. There you go. That's a bad day what to start a, anything. What a, what, a, what a monumental day mm-hmm. to start a new job. I know. You can celebrate awesome. other things that day, too. <laughs> I don't know if celebrating would be a good thing. You can mourn things. <laughs> yeah, you could be cry or something. Well, it's uh, my uncle's birthday, so I'll celebrate with him. <laughs> there you go. you got to have a good care. reason. He left first at the party, right? Mm, yeah. Wes and Martina. Was it Wes and Martina? Wes and Martina left first. Oh, yeah, because then we started playing Twister. Well, I left first. Oh, yeah. Did you play Twister? No. Oh, you, you missed out on Twister. Did I you see did. the video? I kind of saw the video a little bit. I didn't look super close, but it looked it looked pretty sketchy to me. I had to hop over oh, people it, in one foot. It was uh, genius. It was amazing. But, I mean, I can imagine that, that drunk Twister is probably the best thing on the planet. Like, no, it was a <laughs> lot of fun, dude. It was a lot of fun. I like, I, I didn't think it was going to be that fun. I've never <clears> really played Twister before. So, well, so I didn't know what to you, expect. Can you imagine it would have been more or less fun if everyone were naked? <laughs> but probably less fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just checking because yeah. like I've heard the naked twister is like a thing. Well, I think like everybody needs to be into it. Well, yeah. <laughs> like what? Like, That's true. Like, okay. like, it's like, well, we're naked now. Why well. are we playing this <laughs> game? <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's to get you warmed up, you know, like so you can like accidentally rub your balls on people. <laughs> no, you need to. <laughs> what is it? What is it to do? Like, whoops. <laughs> yeah, like. Sorry about that. <laughs> like, this is co ed or. Like yeah, you're not going to play T-Bestory? Naked Twister with a bunch of dudes. Oh, no, 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 okay. That okay that's really not what I meant. Gay. So, like, uh, like, one dude and other dudes and chicks, opposed to like one dude and chicks. Yeah, I mean, it would, pro- it would be like a, I don't know, like a, like a swing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I'm I don't not, know, dude. I'm not into this shit, so I don't know how it works. No, I think, just we bring I think, it's, I think it's a one-on-one battle of the sexes if it's naked. Okay, that makes sense. I think that's a fair way to put it. One-on-one naked battle of the sexes. <laughs> I could go with that. Anything else would be preposterous. <laughs> Anything else would be uncivilized. Anything else would be uncivilized. What is that? Is that Grape that's a commercial? Grape 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 yeah. You know because I used to watch TV a lot as a little kid. I actually the first. Do you know Grey Poupon is? Nope. <laughs> Dude, how old? How old are you, Alejandro? Twenty-one. Just huh? Like when did you turn twenty-one? January. Yeah. Well, he's pushing twenty. He's, uh, he's almost twenty-two. Him and Connor are like the little babies. <laughs> right. I'm surprised you even have facial hair. <laughs> These fucking kids. <laughs> And then Grey Poupon. So Grey Poupon was this. I mean, you can still buy it. It's mustard. Yeah, it's a, it's it's like a fancy, fancy mustard. deli mustard. But in the commercials, you don't know what this is, honestly. No. 
And the commercials, like, there'd be some rich snob dude. In a limousine. In a limousine. And he rolls up on somebody else. And they and roll the, down their window. <laughs> and they're like, they're like pardon, pardon me. <laughs> Do you have, you have any, any gray poupon? poupon? And the guy, like, whips out a jar of fucking Grey Poupon, like, oh, yeah, just carry one around. <laughs> He's like, this is stupid. Okay. This Say is it out loud, it sounds <laughs> fucking stupid. I mean, this is fucking 90s marketing, though. So. And then they made fun of it in Wayne's World, if you've ever seen that movie. Yeah, they and, did. And it was kind of a thing for people to do, you know? It also, like, the the, uh, the salsa, the Pay Salsa commercial. Do you remember that oh, one? Oh, yeah, yeah. New York City! <laughs> It's like, what is this? <laughs> Welcome to the 90s. <laughs> oh, no, we're at a salsa. No, I got some more. Where's that salsa from? New, New York, York City. City. New York City! <laughs> and there was the one where they, like, they, like, tie the guy up behind the horses and then, like, drag him around. I don't remember that. I remember a few different ones. Where they just fuck where with they, them. Like, Oh, the guy who brought the fucking salsa from New York City, he gets fucked with. <laughs> while everybody else is sitting they around the fucking campfire. <laughs> like, don't the bring this shit. Don't bring this around. fucking garbage in here, you fucking faggot. This is <laughs> we'll show you one. how much of a faggot you one. are. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fuck you, boy. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's good. No, that's bad. What commercials did you watch as a child? Oh, we didn't. We just, like, skipped them all. Donde? Or like guacamole? Like yeah, there was a bunch of like Mexican commercials like learning how to speak English. Really? Yeah, English. Is that like English a thing on like the yeah. on, on like Mexican Telemundo show, yeah. and stuff? Telemundo. Donde? Donde? No, no, no. You know, it's funny. I, I, I never, anything. I never make it to the to the commercials on when I'm see like when I see Telemundo because I either like see it for like one second and I'm like. I don't know, it's like one of the telenovelas, and, mm. and they're like getting all hot for a second. It's like, oh shit. It's like, ooh, he's gonna get some, and then they cut away, and it's like, ah, oh, fuck it. Like, nine, nine. stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, so I change the channel. Or like you're at a you're at a Mexican restaurant that's like from yeah, the yeah, yeah, Mexicans. Yeah, 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 so they've got it And they've got, on got the TV. yeah, they've got the telenovelas on the TV, and I'm like, I speak a little bit of Spanish, like enough to understand, like maybe an eighth of what they're saying. It's like when I listen to the radio. It's like I can pick out like every fourth word. <laughs> Not really enough to know what the fuck's going on, sure, but sure. enough to kind of get it. But I never make it to commercials, so I didn't know they had like you know you can speak English for ten ninety nine a month. <laughs> like that or something else where they kind of are like uh, they like Spanglish commercials or something. What do you mean? Well, what do you mean? Well, it was, uh, it was the commercial was in Spanish, like, the telling, uh, telling them that they could, like, learn how to speak English. Like, they put a Mexican lady speaking perfect English, and mm-hmm. they're like, oh, you want to be like her, you got to purchase this. Oh, okay, so, so it was just yeah. like how yeah. he was saying. Yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was, like, a long commercial, like, and they had, like, so many discs and CDs, and they're like, oh, you got to get this volume, then this volume, then this volume. One at a time. Like, huh. But you like, spoke dang. English already. I'll Maybe, just go yeah. to fucking public school, right? <laughs> Talk to white kids. <laughs> That's how I learned English. By talking to white kids. This fucking shit is noisy. It is. You keep bumping it. Well, I'm trying to figure out what's making so much noise. Technical difficulties podcast. Radio, Radio silence. Radio edit. I've got no snare in my headphones. I've got no though. snare in my headphones. There's too much fucking snare in my headphones. Yeah, I know. I got all static... I'm good. It's good, okay. He's good. So he's got the best headphones out of the set. Yep. Mine are the worst. Yeah. Yes. Do you have both sides? Yeah, yeah. That's why I time. bought these. I bought these ones because these are the ones. Because we didn't have stereo. Right. Those headphones are put away okay. because fuck that fuck noise. That. Fuck all that noise. So what's going on, Alex? Specifics. What do you want? Know. What do you want to know? How's everything? Actually, really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are so you're starting. You're starting a, a not an internship, but a apprenticeship. apprenticeship yeah. Um, with the electricians level. union. Yep. So what it is, right on. That's what uh, the code is doing. Is it? Yeah. I wonder if it's, I wonder if you guys will see each other. Maybe. You'll be like, hey, bro, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go electrician stuff. I don't know what electricians talk about. They talk. Like, I think they're just they probably like don't talk to. They probably don't talk right, at all. They're like, too busy yeah. working. They're like, hey, fucking plumbers, <laughs> <laughs> carpenters, right? So, uh, did you quit your current job? No. Where are you working right now? 
If you don't want to say, you don't have to. Why well, he's gonna quit it, right? Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to. See, but so like what after the job classes, do you hate that you're currently going to. <laughs> over the like the the classes, uh, it's gonna be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Mm-hmm. Mondays and Wednesdays from. So you're gonna keep your job while you're taking classes. Yeah, because on November so first I classes? finish. Yeah, yeah like cool. um, Mondays and Wednesdays from six p.m. to nine p.m. And then on Saturdays is eight a.m. to four p.m. So I can do a Monday to Friday easily. Work, yeah, work in the morning, get off in the afternoon, you. go to class. Nice. So it's not bad. So they don't pay you for the for the classes. Or like do, they, do, you, do you have no, to pay? While you're in, uh, while you're doing classes, uh, Are they you don't get paid. Burst? You don't get paid, but you can collect unemployment vouchers. Like I can, I can work. Sure, sure. It's like I'll just fucking work. Yeah, that's, that's what I like doing. doing. If I can make more money that way, mm-hmm. anyway. Let's see, what else, Alex? What was I going to ask you? Radio silence. Radio silence. I mean, we could start with the questions. Let's start with a question. Actually, you know what? While you're looking for a question, don't just fucking go to the last page I you last time. (laughs) No, we clearly have to wait for the last page. So, go ahead and work on picking your thing. Okay. Picking my butt. But kind of on the topic Uh, of, you know... What we want to do, filmmaking and, and and writing and creating stuff and, and hopefully eventually making money doing it. See? See? <laughs> Are See? you fucking mocking Alex now? <laughs> Why not? I don't know. This is the bilingual podcast I, yeah, episode. I did, I Alex, did. you speak in Spanish whenever you have anything to say, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So. <laughs> Just as funny. I was, I was kind of bummed out today. Okay. And I had kind of a shitty attitude, and anybody that's fun with me on Facebook um, probably saw my little post. It was a little cryptic email I post. Oh, wait, I did see yeah, your post. Yeah, I just, I just I posted that I felt defeated, and it was just one word, one liner. I was defeated. And it's because I was feeling shitty about work and feeling shitty about how things are going in my career wise, looking for a new job. I've been to school, I'm trying to trying to it's make like something podcast happen. Podcast exclusive. <clears throat> yeah, this is hot stuff. Um, but when I got home, my son wanted to play outside, so I let him play outside. And I usually do use that time to watch, you know, videos on YouTube and like educational stuff for me. Sure. Stuff to, you know, uh, you know, filmmaking stuff or, um, you know, movie reviews. <laughs> but you know, things that are pertinent to what I like and what I want to do, not just junk videos. You know. Yeah. Stuff where I'm trying to put good stuff in my head, and. Um, and then I, of course, check Facebook in the middle of that. <laughs> and <laughs> one of the one of the guys that I defeated, radio silence. One of the guys that I follow on uh, on Facebook is named Sean Whalen. And I don't know, I can say that without being in trouble. But this guy is. Is that the beard guy? That's the beard guy. But he's not a real person. He is a real, absolutely live person. Well, I mean, he's not a real person in your life. He no, he's not one of my actual friends. He's like an internet celebrity. I, I follow him. Yes. <laughs> He's not like your that neighbor. Doesn't, that doesn't that doesn't negate what I'm saying, though. No, 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 no. But no. the video that he posted today, and I don't know if we can put a link to it or not or whatever, but um, if he's we kind have of the a, technology. If we have the technology, that. Matt just doesn't know how. But we'll uh, figure it out. <laughs> uh, well, uh, okay. But well, anyway, I'll figure it out. what it boils God down to. It. <laughs> what it boils down to is. Sean Whalen is is like this regular guy from you know back in the day. He grew up fucking broke as shit, single parent household, mom working two jobs. He wasn't fucking given anything, right? And he made himself into he basically made millions of dollars in the real estate industry. Okay. Okay. Guys can do that. People can do that. People can do that. Excuse me for not being <laughs> fucking politically correct. Sorry. Cocksucker. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't want to offend the Mexicans. Yeah, so <laughs> people are Mexicans are people too. So don't forget that. The, Alex. But the, the greatest part about his story, and I'm not going to cover his whole thing right now. Let's call him up. Call him up. You know what? You know, if if we had a way to get in contact with Sean Whalen right now, I'll lay you ten to one he would actually do it. Yeah. Because he's, he's that, that kind of guy. guy. He's that kind of guy. The guy's worth millions of fucking dollars. And the greatest part I think about his story is that. At 21, 25 years old, he was already made millions of dollars in real estate industry, from what I understand. Mm-hmm. And then he lost it all because market fit, fell apart, went to shit. Sure. A lot of people lost a lot of money. Right. And his life fell apart. Mm-hmm. But he put it back together. 
and he's, at 35, 40 years old now, he's, he's back, back on top of the game, well. and he's doing it. And now one of his big things is coaching, and you pay him, people pay him to, to be part of to be part of his thing. Get off and your ass and do what you want. And and the the take home message really is is. The only thing standing between you and your dream and what you want to do, whether it's fucking noisy shit. I'm going to get you a power conditioner. Sure. I have, I have one. I'll give it to you. Head and shoulders? Yeah. So his take-home message for everybody, pretty much every video says the same thing, just in a different way and with a little different tip here and there. Sure. Is he doesn't want to give out the good stuff. It's free. not even about the good stuff because the good stuff comes from you. Right. The good stuff is get off your ass and do something. If you want to make... A difference in your own life if you want to create if you want to make movies if you want to write scripts if you want to do that for a living fucking do it mm-hmm. because you're not going to do it sitting around bitching about not doing it right i'm writing scripts. and, and absolutely i'm not saying that you're not following hey, that man. advice without ever hearing it <laughs> but what i'm saying is i'm using you as an example thank you and you know if alex wants to be an electrician a, an electrician a, a union electrician that's a that's a good trade to get into there's decent money Even to be made there Mexican. Well, Mexicans are Stop. Mexicans get into the trades, man. It's like, do you own a truck? It's like I'm taking half of this water and I'm leaving. <laughs> They're gonna give me a truck. <laughs> Can so, you fit a couple of lawnmowers back? There? <laughs> Electricians still use lawnmowers. No, but Mexicans do. You racist fucking so you best fuck and get your shit together. <laughs> so anyway. Anyways. Carry on. Mexicans notwithstanding. Mexicans notwithstanding. <laughs> we're gonna get fucking. We're gonna get stoned on the internet for this shit. If anybody ever hears it. But the take home message no was that this, so we're good. after, after having listened to that video, <laughs> I, I catch these little nuggets every once in a while, and I, and I pay attention to what he's saying, and I try to take it home. But it brought me back up after feeling like that a piece of shit today. Bit. After feeling like a piece of shit, I'm a loser. I'm not getting anywhere. It reminded me that you are what you think you are. So if I think I'm a piece of shit and all I'm ever going to do is work in a crappy well, warehouse job, yeah, I mean, then the that's what you're going to do. The attraction, they say. But by doing what you want to do and by chasing what you want to do and by fucking getting after it every day, whatever it takes, and surrounding your people with already, you know, surrounding yourself with people who already do that. Absolutely. If you can, and learning from people who have done it. You know, the, the concept is there and we're doing that but Forward some, volition. It's yeah, and it's nice to have somebody remind you that that's what it takes, not waiting for somebody to give it to you, or not sitting around wanting it and never going and getting right. it. Right. You don't see a job walking down the street waiting for you to go say hi. No. No, you go out and you find it and you get it and you tell somebody else you want it. Right. So that's or you your, can that's go down to the letty where all the Mexicans are waiting for jobs. Wow, we're being hard on the Mexicans <laughs> today. Hey, we got one. No, like he's pointing out that we're hard workers. Ex- that's they, all, that's you know all. what, dude? You know what, keep saying it. Yeah, we're out there waiting for jobs. <laughs> They're out there waiting I'm, to take I'm your fucking kidding. job. I'm just kidding. Most of my friends are Mexican, and Corey is white. He's a liar. He paid me to be here. <laughs> <laughs> we found him on the Letty. We needed a guest. <laughs> Remember, my dad was offering to go get extras. I think that's what he meant. Shit. Think, oh, we needed gangsters. Well, he went over to the gas station. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out. Should have went over to Galetti. It wasn't that far away. <laughs> like, this motorcycle gang made of cartel members. Huh. <laughs> so I go over to Galetti and be like, all right, so we need... Four like, or five guys. Rip your sleeves like off. Ten of the roughest looking motherfuckers in the whole bunch. And there's like, you know... A couple of roly polies. There's some roly polies, and there's like all these like fucking older grandpa guys, you know. <laughs> and they're, all, they're they're at least they're all wearing finals already <laughs> in the middle of August. <laughs> Just the one button. Oh shit! No, that's cholo shit. They don't all do that. Just most of them. Just most of them. <laughs> Not Alex though. He's Not, an electrician. No, he's the white guy. He's the white guy, Mexican. He's a white Mexican guy. Uh, yeah. You you got light skin. You can pass for white. Just don't talk. He can pass for like Spanish, like, like from Spain. Like from Spain, yeah. Can you speak Spanish from Spain? Can I speak Spanish from Spain. I'm sure there's a, there's subtle differences. There's huge differences. Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. I fucking love that guy. You know who else I like? Uh, Alex. Alex <laughs> and Danny Trejo. <laughs> yeah, Trejo. Danny Trejo and Antonio Banderas. In, the only in Machete Hispanic three. Hispanic actors that you know. Can you name a few more? Machete 3. <laughs> Richard Starring. Cheech Marin. <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> Alejandro. Uh, what's your Girl last name? in Spain is Alexander. What's, what's your last name? Garcia. Garcia. <laughs> That's pretty Spanish. 
It's all good. It's all good. You gonna be in Machete Three? Wait. With Cheech Marin. <laughs> <laughs> you and Cheech. Selma Hayek. <laughs> and Selma Hayek. <laughs> 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 All right, Corey. Thank you for the inspiration. Now let's move on to the funny. Let's do the funny. Offer. I thought the Mexican was a funny. You are funny. Yeah. No, I mean like the jokes. Well, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, you keep your shit up, man. He's gonna fucking cut you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So both. I better of you. stop too. <laughs> offer. I know. We can just take the Mexican episode. Um, offer. You'll get twenty million dollars to spend however you wish. But, in exchange, you must collect and store every drop of your own urine for the rest of your life. Perfect. Piece of cake. <laughs> Where's the catheter? No, but I mean, think about it. Like, even once, like, let's say you're, you run out of that $20 million, you still have to keep collecting urine. I'm not going to run out of that. I'm telling you, somebody <laughs> gives me fucking $20 million. So you're not peeing in the toilet anymore. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I'll, like... For $20 million? Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'll yeah. piss into fucking water bottles. I'll start that whole, my whole new, the, the new trend where, like, breastfeeding, I'll just pee in public. Just pee into Hold a fucking... I'll be collecting. No, no you just, just carry a colostomy bag. Yeah. <laughs> just walk so around I'll the throw my colostomy bag at him and cover him in shite. Man. What, what would you do? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. $20 million's a lot of fucking money. I mean, I, I would do it, You're too, not run out but, of 20 like... $20 million? I don't know. If you're stupid, you can run yeah. out of twenty million. If you learn how to make money with your money, this goes back to what I was saying, man. You got to take that money and make money. Sure, sure, sure. You got to make that money. Don't let that money make you. That way, that at least you're still collecting urine and not like for no reason. You know, it's like if you're still paying off for a car that you've already crashed and wrecked and don't have no more. And that's a bullshit way to go. Uh, paying for a dead horse. You yeah, like if you like you're out hunting and you fuck up and you shoot somebody's cow, like you gotta pay for that shit. And, and the cow, the cow's dead. And the cow's dead. Can and I at least get that? No, beef. you don't get to eat it. You don't get that beef. No, because it's a farmer's property. You just destroyed it. He's like, I'm gonna eat this in front of you. Cause I won't be all eating steak and shit. That's some filet mignon. Have filet you done mignon. that? Or do you know someone who's done that? It's kind of a, it's like a super big no-no. But like I've read the read. Uh, Posts and seen videos on like guys People. who have accidentally done it. Like, you don't do it maliciously, but like in some places in the country, farmers will let you come hunt on their fields right, for like deer and for shit. deer, or, or some people go to a farmer's field for shooting coyotes, mm -hmm. weird shit, ducks. Um, I got a buddy that that goes out regularly to shoot fucking prairie dogs. Like on some dude's farm, right? And then they actually because the prairie a dogs, well, the prairie farm. dogs fuck up the landscape, mm -hmm. and you know, like feral hogs, same thing. Like they will pay you to come and shoot hogs on their field. Mm -hmm. But I've seen where you know, guy gets permission to go hunt deer on farmer's field, and he drops his fucking big ass buck. And then, you know, 20 yards behind, it's a fucking dead cow. <laughs> and it's like, whoops. How much is it, do you know? I, cow I, don't, I don't know what the arrangement would be. But, I mean, it would. I imagine it would be anything. It would be like anything that you are making money off of. So, like, if it was a dairy cow, mm -hmm. and and it's like a milking dairy cow, right, not something you're going to yeah. lose whatever production over the lifespan. Yeah, the production over the lifespan of the cow, whatever money that's worth, like, I would see that as being reasonable to ask for that. Sure. Like, you killed a fucking milk cow that was going to live for 15 years and produce X amount of gallons a day, and going at the going rate this much, you come up with some fucking astronomical number for one cow, when you could go buy another cow <laughs> for, like, you know, an eighth of the price or whatever. Right. It's not about the cow, it's about the lost The lost production. If you had that farmer send a waiver, you're like, all right, you're living on your property, but sign this for just a case... I don't know how that shit works. I don't do it. But Some libel situation. Let's get that closer to you. Is that close? <laughs> yes. Radio silence. All right. We done on the, the PP saving? Yeah, the PP saving question was was good, but it was too easy. Yeah, it was easy. All right, well, let's see what... Like, because with $20 million, you could take $1 million and store, because like, and just, like... Best. I mean, even if you you're just worried about storing your pee... Like you could take I'll a million take $1 dollars, million and be like, what, build a warehouse with a pea collection system. What does it say? Like, what store do they store every drop of your own urine for the rest of your life? 
Yeah. I mean, I could kind of see the you downside buy, of that. Because, yeah, like, to, uh, like, if you were on vacation, like, because nobody's going to stay at home and, like, go, like, um, hey. But, like, you go on vacation down to, like, fucking, I don't know, Bermuda Cabo. or some shit, Cabo, <laughs> the Bahamas. It's the fucking guy. <laughs> Tijuana! <laughs> Tijuana! If you have $20 million, you're not going to fucking Tijuana. Okay? Juarez. Yeah, you're not going there either, not unless you're looking to invest. <laughs> but, you know, you're going to have to think about, you know, collecting it while you're on vacation, while you're out of the house. When you're like, drunk? When you're yeah, drunk. <laughs> whenever you're not home. Yeah, you're going to have to bottle that shit up Ugh. and, like, FedEx at home. Oh, God. And if you're like overseas... Like, you're at Disneyland? You're like, oh, hang on you're a on second. You're on a plane? You can't take a plane anymore. Yeah, you can. Like, you just can't take pee onto the plane with you. So you have to hold it till you get on the plane and then pee, and then you can take it off the plane. And then you go into the bathroom, and then you're walking out with the bottle. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, you walk. Well, oh, just my like, God. It just, almost seems like more trouble than it's worth. Just have a bag. <sighs> right. Yeah. Just got to your thigh, ready to go. Like, it just seems like... But it's worth, it worth it? No, yeah, it's okay. worth the twenty million, but it's like, like the a question. pain is it in worth the it? ass. Pain in the dick's more like it. <laughs> All right. At least we have a dick, so like, if you're gonna aim the pee, like you imagine if you were a female, that would be a pain in the ass. You'd have to get like a shiwi or something. <laughs> they, they have those. A, a shiwi? The funnel? Yeah, it's like a it's like a pussy funnel. Oh, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they sell it with the gas station. They were making fun of that. Yeah. <laughs> you like put it like on your. Veg, and then you just like <laughs> so you don't pee on yourself. Stupid. So the chicks can pee standing up. I think up. they're fine. I think they're they're probably better at peeing than we are. Probably. All right. You can have any large animal, either living or extinct, shrunk down to pug size and given to you as a pet. You have to keep it for at least a year. What's your choice? Hmm. Any animal pug size. Keep in mind that a cuddly grizzly bear is still going to need a few pounds of fresh meat per week. And how cool is your landlord, really? I own my house, so I can do whatever the fuck <laughs> I want. How about you? Parents, I don't think they're gonna like me. <laughs> Bring home a T-Rex. Oh man, a pug-sized T-Rex? That's <laughs> fucked up. Okay, give us, give us your best. Okay, give us your best. Uh, you live with your parents? Yeah. So, is your mom from Mexico? Originally, or uh, yeah, she was born okay. there, but she old school. But she, is like she, well, she speaks perfect English. Like, yeah, but her I'm, attitude, I'm, I'm not her attitude. Making, yeah. But like when you're in trouble, like when you're growing up, does she like slip into that? that oh yeah, she crazy goes mama, back to her like, roots. She goes back to her roots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll say that. Okay, so give us your best impression of your mom when you bring home pug sized T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What would she sound like? Well, like I can, I can go imagine. A little like this, well, and like, and like, yeah, we just do the whole thing, like, like wow, Spanish yeah. and everything, right? Like, first of all, probably I hide it for like, try to hide it for like a week or something. Right, and then, but Which like, okay, so I don't know if you guys have ever, eventually. have you guys ever had reptiles? You guys ever owned reptiles? No. I used to have a snake when I was in like middle school, and at the biggest before I had to get rid of it was. Uh, it was eight and a half feet long. It was a Burmese python, about three and a half mm-hmm. inches in diameter. This motherfucker ate six rats a month. Big ass rats. Mm-hmm. But it only shits once a month, too. That is the worst fucking smelling shit you have ever smelled. And it's not doesn't smell like dog shit or like people shit. It smells like just something altogether different, but it smells fucking awful. I mean, it's a little nugget. It's about you know, the size of a 50 cent piece. It's all or like a golf ball. And fucking but I mean, that's like, that's six fucking rats concentrated digested into one little nugget of shit that smells worse than any shit you've ever been around so like you hide it for like a couple of days <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe it's, where would you hide this t-rex <laughs> huh, like you're sneaking it out the back the back room at like you're midnight. taking it to work with you right your mom like in the fucking kitchen making up some pasole for <laughs> dinner or something <laughs> and she goes and she goes Mijo, what is that smell? <laughs> it's like, oh, I've already, I forgot to oh, fucking forgot light the match, right? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, I, I pooped it a little, you know, I got excited. I smelled pozole, and I was like, oh, <laughs> like, Mijo, that's nasty. <laughs> Yo, know, I get so excited about the poop of your pants. Just go clean yourself up. 
You can't sit at the table and eat pozole with your dad and I would eat oh, mecos man. in your pants. <laughs> mecos? <laughs> oh, man. Like, it just reminded me how many times they made those threats of saying, like, oh, if you're trying to get a girlfriend now, we're going to show your, your skin marks and everything. Like, <laughs> no, but, but then the T-Rex would make a noise. I know, I know. Like, I know, like, she, it would, like, have a little she'll roar. She'll find out. She'll probably, like, scream, try to find out who it is or whatever. I'll probably be the last person to say anything. And then she'll look at me and just be like, Alex! <laughs> she won't say she won't say me or nothing like that. She'll call me by my name. Uh-huh. That's how I know I'm done. I'm like, once, like she, once I hear my name, toast. Even even in the text, if she doesn't say me or she says Alex, I'm in trouble. You know, I did something. Right I did something. Like you could, you might not have even done it, but you're still fucked, right? <laughs> just like fuck it. I just I'm gonna go home and get my ass whooped, and then that's it. Yeah. Like so, she wouldn't think like a T Rex that big would be cool in any way. No, nah, she'll get me. <laughs> she she was like still iffy about her pitbull. Yeah. She doesn't like it when he's in the house, and that's where like the only place he wants to be in is with her, or at work. No, well, like in the house and living. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so what so, does your mom say, like, when she's, like let's just pretend that she's totally not fucking cool with it, and she slips out of gear on you. Well, like in Spanish, she'd probably be just telling me to like just scream my name, and she'd be like, "Qué es esto?" You know, like, "What is this?" And she'd be like, "Qué es esto?" Qué estabas pensando? You're just start calling me. She probably even start cussing at me. So I, I think I'd be just start cussing. But I feel like by that time I had the T-Rex like trained and ready to defend me. Right. So like that's you back you, off, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna use the T-Rex on your mom? Yeah. That's pretty tight, bro. That is tight as fuck. That's the only way to defend myself. How about you? You know, I started out thinking like how tight it would be to have like a fucking dragon or something. Like a like, I don't know, like a pug-sized dragon. Like I don't like know. I was just shark? thinking of like the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Sequence where the fucking dragon lands next to the chick with the white well, hair. Well, they've got... She's got little baby dragons at the beginning. Right. And I was thinking, man, that would be fucking bad. Dude's like, ha, fire and shit, you know? <laughs> and then like sets spiral. everything on fire in your house. <laughs> right. So, so I, I went away from that idea. I was like, you know, maybe a dragon's a fucking bad idea. But, like, pug size, I was thinking, like, a fucking great white shark. Right? Don't they have mm-hmm. sharks that are about not fucking no. gray whites, bro? Well, I mean, you could get sharks that are like. I mean, you could have sharks that would, are like. Yeah, like what fish, would be the difference of a great white that size opposed to actually just one the that way they they're the way they're built is different. Take what is mine. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Carry on. That was fucking heavy. No, just the way great whites are built, like their physiology is different. And the sharks that they have are that like little sharks. I mean, they eat fish and stuff, I suppose. Right. So the great white. It's just iconic, though. Right. No, I got that. Great big motherfucker. But I mean, if you could shrink that down to like the size of like a bass, like a I mean, like a decent sized trout or like a bass, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, how fucking cool would that be? I mean, you have to have a big ass tank to keep a fish that big anyway. But then he's not fucking shitting and pissing all over your house. You don't have to worry about him eating you. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a T-Rex, eh, trained or not trained, that motherfucker could probably like take a chunk out, right? Mm-hmm. Oh fuck, dude! Yeah, uh, yeah. The T-Rex, you couldn't sleep with that <laughs> thing around, like uncaged. What would you name your T-Rex? I don't know. I haven't thought about that. What would you okay. name your shirt? I don't know, fucking Chompy or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be fucking cool to just like just miniature. Like jaws and your fucking yeah no that would be cool. cool. Um, how would your your wife feel about that? She probably wouldn't care for it because it's in a tank. It I mean, she'd be like, yeah, this is not a good idea <laughs> <laughs> because we have cats. Oh, and even though the shark is water based, the cats would probably be curious and they might like like hover over the tank and like. Well, know, what if you oh, had the tank fish. at a point? Like where they couldn't get into it. Yeah, like, like if you did one of those big low hanging roof yeah. or so it was covered so that nobody could get into it. I mean, if you did it like that, if that wasn't an, an issue, then I mean I don't see how anybody could have an issue with that. It's like a fucking giant fish. Mm-hmm. That was a fucking badass carnivorous fish that would fucking tear the shit out of anything you put in there. There's fucking fruit flies. We have fruit flies now, man. Yeah, it happens. It's because there's poop outside. Uh, They're poop flies. I think there's too much food laying around here nowadays. It's true. It's probably because I dropped a chicken wing in the kitchen last weekend. Did you? Yeah, I picked it up. Okay, that's fine. And I wiped up the floor. 
Because <laughs> I remember funny. last time you had a party, the floor was all sticky the next day. Because well, you're then, messy. Yeah, you're, you're messy, though. You're hella messy when you're drunk. You drop everything. For sure. Fuck you. Why? <laughs> I'm just, this guy fucking tells the truth and he's like, fuck you. Yeah, right. We're both saying it and he huh. only points out the Mexican. That's because you're Mexican. You left early. You left early, too. Yeah. So you didn't even see me full fledged drunk. I don't know, we I saw you, were, you full fledged drunk. I thought you were cooking yeah. pretty good when we left. <laughs> What about you? What What's your animal? Your pup um, size animal? Well, I mean, like, how it says here, a grizzly bear would be cool. You know, like, oh, uh, like a wolf would be cool to kind of have, like, a miniature wolf. Because I right. like wolves. Um, Is that your spirit animal? I guess. I don't know. Uh, saber-toothed tiger, you know. That would be That would be super cool. But, like, which one would be, like, what would look, some of them wouldn't, would not, uh, would not translate very well to pug size. It would look stupid. I mean, like an elephant. Yeah, but it, if it kept its proportions, like if it was proportionate. If it was, no, if, if it was proportionate, is when it would look stupid. But, like, uh, like pug proportions. No, here. What am that I trying to say? Stupid. No, what am I trying to say? Like, <clears throat> if it was like full grown, and then it was just shrunk down to that size, opposed to proportionate to what it would need to be to be that size. Does that make right. sense? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's like if you take a Hot Wheels and you blow it up to life size, it looks dumb as fuck. I wouldn't know about that. I watched a show about it one time. And it's Someone built a life, a life size Hot Wheels and they had to change a lot of the dimensions because it doesn't work in real life. Like a big old, just like a big bar for the wheels, for the axle? Not, I mean, they made it mechanically a car, but aesthetically hot wheel oh so they made a car and kind of like rounded the edges to make no, they it made like, it look like a like one of the wild ass looking hot wheels mm -hmm. but like the proportions don't fit like the wheels on hot wheels are way too big are they for the car unless it's a repro of a real car but like the like the conceptual cars like the toilet bowl racer or the fucking shopping cart basket or whatever <laughs> so they, they make I, a shopping cart basket car? yes i collect hot wheels and I have a lot of weird shit. <laughs> but, like I said. So I'm thinking food. like a wolf. I would have a pug-sized wolf. So like if Oreo were like a wolf. The wolf would probably eat Oreo. Probably. My cat's going to eat Oreo one of these days. It's possible. I feel like your cat was going to bite me one time. When? Oh, uh, when, when he stayed over? Stay over? It's because there was a strange Mexican in his house. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? Well, no, she's gotten to sleep with somebody for, like, the first time in forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, after that, she started cuddling. Oh, yeah, well, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, I guess that's that question. That's that question. I like your guys' like, yours was way outside the box. Because I didn't even go, like, well, it, it does say extinct. Say, like, it does say extinct. T-Rex. Yeah. Because I've never thought that I'd ever want, like, a dinosaur for a pet. Chomp, I don't know, but you know be cool? It's like a... Chomp Chomp. That's the name. Chomp Chomp. Nice. What were you going to say? I don't remember now. You're like, I never thought. And then I don't know. Skip your head. T-Rex, and you say Oh, uh, well, like if you were to pick a dinosaur that would be, like, less dangerous to your well-being. Like, I don't know, fucking like Brachiosaurus or, like, some kind of leaf eater. I don't know about a Brachiosaurus because, like, let's say it's pug-sized, like pug but size. then his fucking neck is, like... <laughs> Yeah, that would be cool. Like knocking shit over, and it's like, God <laughs> damn it. Eating shit off the table while you're <laughs> trying to eat at dinner. Look like away. Booger hooking your salad and shit. What else? Uh, maybe like a pterodactyl. That would be cool. So, like a bird pterodactyl. Bird sized pterodactyl. And it's just kind of doing its thing. Chilling. That'd be yeah. nice. I'm down with that. Yeah, pterodactyl. Let's get one of those. Uh, hopefully, we get a good question now. Get a good one? Let's see. All right. Would you rather have to hunt and forage to feed your family every day or serve them exclusively free lean cuisine dinners for the rest of your lives? <laughs> <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. For me, that's a tough question because it, like, I don't know, it begs for... 
exposition, I think. Just watch out for those farmer cows when you're out <laughs> there foraging for you. I mean, like, what's the scenario behind having to forage? Like, are you placed into a lifestyle where that's the thing you do? And you know how to do it? Or, like, you have to learn how to do it? Would you rather have to hunt and forage to feed your family every day? So, under the circumstances of who you are right now and right. what you currently know, and in your current situation. So I still have to go to work. So you still have to go to work, but like but if once I'm, you get off work, stop yeah. by <laughs> stop by the local farmer's field. The rabbit that you just you hit on the way home. <laughs> or you just go home to your lean cuisine, chicken carbonara. It's not only one kind of loaf. Oh, they have all different kinds, but you get them for free for the rest of your life. Exclusively free lean cuisine dinners for the rest of your lives. I kind of like lean cuisine. So you're down with the lean cuisine. I like that idea because it's easy and there's no more cooking. You just microwave dinners. And it's free. And it's, it's free, free, but like. You save money. They have it's a lot of apps. varieties. But then you can't eat nothing else. They have a lot of varieties. You can't eat anything else anymore, though. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I guess. Well, actually, no, so that's what you get to feed your family. You can go get yourself another. Yeah, they can fuck them. They can. Feed your family that. I'm going to, I'm going to, to fucking feed bully. your family. I'm going to fucking bullies and get some chicken wings. <laughs> Eat that fucking you Enjoy, you enjoy your fucking spaghetti and rice. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> your fucking chicken Alfredo lean cuisine. Oh nice. With I'm like with microscopic, <laughs> microscopic chunks of fucking broccoli. Oh man, and it's like crusty on the sides. <laughs> yeah, I know, and like the you, meat has gone into your dessert. Like the uh, gravy has gone into the dessert. So that's like. I don't think lean cuisines have desserts, bro. No. No. So. Well, I'm just thinking TV. <laughs> just like I'm on, thinking yeah, TV. Lean dinner. cuisines are like more of like a single serve entree. Okay, so. So it's like just, you know, like. Here's your chicken with Alfredo. Yeah. I actually like the Alfredo ones. No, really How about you? I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll meet him somewhere else. <laughs> huh, me and, yeah. me and Ali, we're going to go get some fucking chicken wings or... I don't know. I guess... Pizza. Right. Chicken chicken wings. Wings. Just because your mom can't <laughs> eat it doesn't mean she can't make us some pasole or some fucking oh, tamales that's and fucked. shit. That like, is hey, mom, fucked. can you fucking hook us up? That's so fucked. Well, I mean, as of right now, Ali would have to... F he doesn't have to feed his family because his family feeds him. I have extra money on myself. <laughs> So they got the free the free link. It's with just it. his girlfriend would have to eat, the, and his son. <laughs> like pretty much, <laughs> you have to fucking give up the. There you go. <laughs> oh wow! Daddy's gonna stop and get a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, you didn't no, answer no, 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 no. You, you, you can't have too. you can't have oh, a, a um, French fries. Huh? I think I would rather <laughs> fucking <laughs> hunt and forage. Yeah. I think I would try that. I'd like to try that. I maybe. like I like the idea of that. But, but in a circumstance where that's the necessary thing to where do. Where you still have to get up and go to work every day. But if I have to get up and go to work every day, it's like, fuck it, let's just eat Lean Cuisine. Well, like, you once know? you hit the weekend, you guys can go hunting, stock up the freezer with some <laughs> dead rabbits. Dude, I can fucking eat for days on just what's on my property. Yeah? I have fucking... Do you, have you ate rabbit? Mm-hmm. And it's okay? Yeah. Cottontails. Yeah, you've had Cottontails rabbit. Mexican. Decent. Cottontails decent. I want to try some Jack rabbits, rabbit, too. Jackrabbit's a little stringy. Is it? Yeah, it's a little tough. You got to stew the fuck out of it if you want to eat it. <laughs> I'll, you know what? This we'll do, we'll do a super special winter podcast. Super special. I'm already taking down notes for the Christmas special. Okay. I will, I will pop a rabbit in my backyard, and I will skin it out, and I will make you rabbit stew. There's, I've got a Game of Thrones recipe for rabbit stew. Okay. I'll hook you up make with it, that. Make a copy and we'll, we'll make it happen. Okay. We'll do All it right. legit. <laughs> this guy's and like, if rabbit it's gonna stew? Be, it's, if it's going to be more than just me and you, if it's like going to be the three of us, then maybe I'll get two rabbits. Oh, I would like a, a nice grouping. You can make a stew. I'll make something else. Maybe you can uh, start now and make us, uh, I don't know, something else traditional. Christmas traditional? No, like... I don't know, I'm doing the Game of Thrones fucking... Well, no, there's... No, I make a good... Uh, there's a recipe in there that I like that's like uh, onions and gravy. Mm -hmm. So... Like I said, that, that would be fun. Like, the foraging thing would be fun. Mm -hmm. I just can imagine... 
it would get very old very fast, especially when you have to go to work. Now, and like if that was my work, if that was your work, that. that's a different story because that's traditional like hunter gatherers, right? So you're not, you don't need money. Like tribal, like tribesmen buy food. Who, who hunt for food and for sus, um, to sustain their families. That's their job, right? And you don't spend four. Sure, in that situation, absolutely. So, yeah. I, so it makes sense that this question is in your current situation. Yeah. Today, someone walks up to you with a gun to your head, or like you know, it your says life. You're is either going to have these lean cuisines, <laughs> or you can hunt, or you can hunt for the rest of your life. You can have lean cuisines. Yeah. We got time for hunting. Oh, and I got quail in the backyard, which supposedly is pretty good. Squab is that the same thing? I'm not sure. I don't speak engine. You don't know what squab is? I've never heard that. Really? Yeah. I think squab is basically the same thing as like a like a quail small, type small bird. Brown bird. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Take a moment to imagine Charlie Chaplin's mustache. You okay. know who that is? Yeah. Okay. And Guy Fieri's hair. You guys know who Guy Fieri is together. No? Hold on. Take a moment. Okay. So Guy Fieri's hair. Let's bring up an image of Guy Fieri's hair. While we're on radio silence. While right? we're on radio silence. My wife's grandmother paints, uh, does like, I guess acrylic or something, but mm -hmm. she does like canvas painting. And she's painted a picture of me from a picture that was taken around Christmas time. So I was wearing like this green collared shirt. Mm -hmm. And if I had a mustache, the painting of me would look a lot like Guy Fieri. It's so kind of funny. If, okay. So this is Guy Fieri. Mm -hmm. That's Guy Fieri's hair. This is an interesting picture right here. <laughs> it's the, the grown-out brown hair with the, the frost tips. So, yes. Yeah, so, okay. So, Charlie Chaplin's mustache, which is basically a Hitler stash, kind of. Mm -hmm. and Guy Fieri's hair. Your dad will have to wear one of these styles for the rest of his life. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> which do you pick for him? <laughs> Alex. Um, let's say the, let's say the hair. Your Mexican father. Yep, I'm gonna say the hair. So, so he's, he's, gonna gonna rock. he's gonna rock. He's gonna rock. He's gonna rock the hair. The, the bleach spiked mm -hmm. hair, the tennis ball. <laughs> and Corey, your I dad kind of like, has. I was gonna like, say my dad kind of looks like that. His already. hair is <laughs> white, right? So yeah. So I mean, really, it's not a de huge, uh, huge departure from what he actually looks like. From. Yeah. So, so like if he grew dad, his hair out a little so bit, so your dad just shaves. Keeps the hair that he has, and he has the fucking Hitler stash. He probably wouldn't live very long <laughs> if he had the Hitler stash <laughs> because he's, he's, he's a giant, like, giant white he's guy. He's an Aryan nation looking. He looks dude. like mm. if if he like well, there's a reason why he was our our kingpin biker for our, our president movie. for the four color demons. Yeah, I mean, he looks like if he put we'll, on the we'll, right we'll cut, give he him could, a fucking it looked like he could <laughs> ride for Chapman fucking mustache for the Aryan next nation, you know what I mean? Like, he could fucking ride for the brotherhood. <laughs> so <laughs> for like, the rest of his life. Yeah, it wouldn't be very long <laughs> if he had to wear the Charlie <laughs> Chaplin stash. So you would rather him just kind of grow his hair out yeah, a Yeah, I would bit. rather him just do the Guy Fieri thing. It would be so way not, safer. I mean, that kind of looks like your dad. It kind of does. I mean, in like 20 years. Yeah. I mean, that kind of looks like you too. Kind of. Like Maybe. Guy Fieri, your dad. <laughs> hey. You <laughs> never know. So, Maybe. Alex, your dad with this hair, would that be awesome? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your dad's name? Hector. Hector. <laughs> Hector! <laughs> nice boo. I got a last name too, but I can't pronounce it. What is that? Is that from something? Fast and the Furious. Is it? Yeah, my name's Hector. I got a last name too, but I can't pronounce oh, okay, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's from the first one? Yeah. Nobody likes those movies, Corey. <laughs> fucking gang Fuck up against both of me. You. No, um, I didn't say I'm oh, okay. I was like, 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 you hear him? I, I, uh, as far as my dad goes... <clears throat> uh, uh, your hair, dad would look goofy either way. Have you seen my dad? Uh, I think I, maybe. Oh, my stepdad? I don't know. my stepdad. What does your dad look like? I mean, I guess it kind of looks like me. <laughs> and I've done the blonde, spiky hair before. Well, I'll give you the stash. Yeah, he would probably... Yeah, okay, so give my dad the stash, because that's something he's never done, I don't yeah. think. That would be hilarious. Not that great of a question, but... It, uh, Not super great. <clears throat> when was the last time you talked to your dad? 
Me? Yeah. I think I talked to him. Talked to him last week. Yeah. Yeah. Ask anything about the movie? Um. Nothing specific. Had you seen those? Uh, the, the the ones that I sent today. I had not seen those. Not, ones. not even. I not wasn't a, not sure even if, a little bit. No, those were those were. I like those. Those look awesome. It's real funny. The one that that he drew where. Uh, your dad's character walks in and the two are like making out on his desk. Yeah, I was trying to figure out who that was supposed to be because I don't remember that. That would be Griff and Two. Oh, okay. Like, the, the, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I love these storyboards. So, Alex, and for the listening audience, yeah. um, I, I've got this guy that's drawing storyboards for my movie. You know what storyboards yeah. are? Yeah, uh, Genesis Show. Um, and I'm writing a script for him. So that's the you know the, the trick for tat yeah yeah um, and I'm not telling him how like I gave him my script and I'm not telling him anything. You didn't give him a shot list. You didn't give him like an idea. You didn't. No. Wow. So he's got a pretty good vision. I mean, it's 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 close enough to what I'm gonna do. But in all honesty, I picture how I'm writing it in my head and how I want to see it. But it's a different situation when we actually find where we're gonna film it how the camera has to be set up to get certain shots. Yeah. So I understand the idea of having to adapt from set, from script, to from mind to script, to storyboard, to actually being there. And like, there's no way what we drew or what I saw is gonna work here, so we just gotta fucking work with what we have. Yeah. So there's really no point in me being like, no, that's wrong! That's not how I saw that scene in my head. So it's just like, by all means, fucking go nuts. Um, so Well, it'd be cool bonus material anyway. Oh, absolutely. Like, after everything's said and done, and it's all filmed and all edited it's, together. It's, it's so funny, like, the shit that he's drawn. And I really <laughs> like the one where Griff and two are making out on desk because I'm like... Like, that's funny, because he just walks in, and they're just doing the thing. Like, in the script, like, they're just kind of close, and he's kind of just, like, flirting with her as, like, this game that he does. He, like, he fucks with people. Right. Like, he... That's his thing. Right. So, like, it's, it's, it's definitely on the nose in the drawing that he has, but in my script, it's not so on the nose. But I loved it. I thought that was the best one so far. I thought it was so funny. I laughed my ass off when I saw that. <laughs> it was cool. Um, but yeah, so you hadn't seen any of those, and I wasn't sure if maybe you saw the one where you're walking in. Did I send that one? I might have seen that. It might have been like on the tail end of. And the thing with that one is, like, he walks in with the gas man. Mm -hmm. He doesn't walk in by himself. Yeah, we have. So in his storyboards, he cut out the gas man. Yeah, we have to kind of. Well, in the the script, kind of cuts out the gas man after. Well, no, he because he in. brings him in and maybe sets him down and handcuffs him to the chair. Right. The gas man's kind of like... He just sits there while all this goes on. Right, and I think he laughs maybe at some shit. Yeah, okay. And then from that point, it cuts into other stuff, so as, assuming that we can he takes him to that. jail, right? Yeah. And in between the scenes, he takes him sure. to jail. And, you know, I was thinking, like, I don't really have a gas man. Maybe this guy can be gas man. At the very least, we can have him read... Read when, for the guest when we do the script yeah. stuff. <clears throat> no, that'll that'll let it. That would be cool. Um, it'd just be a dirty Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> dirty <clears throat> Mexican. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Exciting. Very exciting. And uh, like the guys seem to have slowed down as far as getting me storyboards, which is fine. I understand. Like yeah, it's like a people, whole script. People have shit. Yeah. Done. I wrote a real interesting scene for his script the other day. Yeah, it, it was because he's got now he's it's basically going the opposite direction for you, right? He's giving you uh, yes, absolutely. A he's giving me a breakdown, and he sent me like an idea. animated videos that really? he already has. Wow! And so it's like I've got the animated video that he's done, and then also the description that he sent me, and I think he's French Canadian. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Uh, it's got some broken English, what he sends me in emails. Right. So I mean, like I get it, you know. I'm not. Is he local? No. Or is he no? He's. How, and how I did you find this guy? Craigslist. He found me. He oh, saw really? my Craigslist ad, ad looking for storyboard artists and blah 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 blah. Nice. Um, I'm I'm really excited that that 
you've reached out of your comfort zone and brought somebody in on the creative process like that. And it seems so far to be working really yeah, well. Yeah, because it brings I'm, great opportunities for stuff like that to happen. Absolutely. You know, and I know that in some of the previous scripts that, that you've done that we haven't made or, <laughs> or that we've had to, to change, mm -hmm. where there were like certain animated sequences in the film. This guy could totally do that. And that's he what I He even said like. to me, um, like, he, because he sent me this other idea thing that he had, this, right. like, it was like a post apocalyptic, like, underwater, aquatic kind of sci fi fantasy thing. Right. And he was like, and that's like a full script. The one I'm doing for him now is like a short. Okay. And he was like, hey, if you do that for me, you got me for life or something like that. Nice. So, like, I mean, and then. Like, I, I questioned him back. I was like, oh, so you're saying blah, 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 blah. He's like, well, no, I mean, just as long as you keep writing for me, I'll keep drawing for you. And, you know, that's, that's all there is to it. And really, I mean, that's that's a fair payment. Fair I mean, art, art for Absolutely. art. Absolutely. You know, and I And was he having... loves my writing. <clears throat> like like I was saying, you know, not to cut you off, but yeah. that, that scene that I wrote for him the other day, like, well, okay, so the first thing I wrote for him was like, and, and I hope it's okay that I talk about it, um, but we're like these two kids uh, driving in a Jeep and like one dude's pissed off and he's like super racist, right? So that was, he was like, I just want some dialogue for that. Like, you know, and then he had another scene that was like a school fight scene. Uh, so I, I wrote that one too and I could put some dialogue in that one. But this third one that he sent me was basically almost all action and no dialogue and I'm like your description is basically already what you would write into a script right so I went and really expanded on what he wrote down and since he's already got something kind of animated I felt bad for deviating from what he already had right but like he loved the scene that I wrote and it was it was it was so crazy and ridiculous because it's like, like this is a movie about like a, a female assassin, something like that. Mm -hmm. And there's this like old rich cowboy dude that's banging like a black prostitute in this luxurious Vegas hotel. And he was like, I want this part to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you, mean, hey, you're a funny man. You make it funny. <laughs> you, you're American. Make this. No, <laughs> you, you know funny. You're a funny man. This part here, black hooker, assassin man, other assassin lady, you know, make funny. You do my way, I do your way. I mean, no, it wasn't quite like that. That's amazing. I mean, uh, maybe I'll write it for you, uh, maybe I won't. <laughs> no, like, these two guards bust in because, like, the assassin kind of comes in through a vent into the room while those two are banging. And these two guards run up the hall and bust into the room, right? And and he was like, okay, and, you know, she deals with them and kind of kills, kills them and the dude. Uh, but I want, you know, to be, like, comical and, like, have slow-mo shots in it and everything else like that. And so, I'm not really an action writer. Mm -hmm. I don't really write action scenes because I think it's more along the lines of getting there. And what can be done. Right, and let's, let's choreograph this. Let's figure out what we can play around with. So, I, I wrote this scene where, so like the dude is like banging this chick on the table, right? And these guards come in. At one point, she fucking like, like the dude, like they're down on the ground. She like kicks this dude in, in the ass, and his his face goes forward into the naked dude's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I can only imagine that he thought that was super funny. And That's like great. his head is stuck in his ass, <laughs> you know. And so like like the chicks bent over, and the dudes in the chick, and then his face is in this dude's ass. And so he's got his arms coming up, and, and the old guy's like, God damn it, and he pulls the gun out of the guy's hand while he's trying to brace himself on the table with his face stuck in his ass. <laughs> and it's just really goofy. And But he really liked this scene. Like, and 
I'm really enjoying writing like this because I've never written anything for anybody beautiful. else. And it gives you some freedom that you don't have with film. And it gives me, um, uh, what was it? What was I going to say? Like, it allows me to kind of step out and challenge myself, like, with homework. It's kind of like homework, where, right. like, you learn how to do the math, and then they assign you a bunch of different problems for that math you just learned. Right. <clears throat> and it's like that. It's absolutely like that. Because he gives me a scene, and I'm like, okay, I'll write it. And then I send it to him, and he'll be like, you know, that's good, but this and this doesn't really work. And so I go and I change it, and he's like, perfect. Nice. And, like, that's what I like. Because I can't challenge myself, because it's hard enough to get what I want for myself when I don't even know what I want. Yeah. But if someone tells me what they want, <clears throat> I know how to write, and I can absolutely give it to them. And if they don't like it... I can adjust it until it is what they want because I can write and it's fun. You know what might be fun? And I don't know if this is, I mean, obviously we're already working on a project right now, but with this new contact, maybe an animated film wouldn't be such a bad idea. It wouldn't be. You know, but I, I mean. And then we're, you know, then we're doing, we're doing, you know, voice recording and I don't know what the animation looks like we can talk about that later but I can show you it would yeah that's what I'm saying it would be fucking cool to do an animated thing where they're we're doing you know doing voice acting in a you know in a booth or whatever we want to make or right here you know what I'm saying we do it here but we would have to exterior we would have to build a booth <clears throat> so that it would be clean sound but right. how fucking cool would that be and maybe... It's not that you know, far off. I mean, this guy's an animator. That's what he does. Yeah. He's an animator. I don't know if that's what he does professionally, but, like, he's, like, oh, I love animating. Because, like, he'll say things to me in his broken English, and I'm not making fun of the guy um, in case he ever listens or watches or whatever. I'm not making fun of him because I'm pretty sure he's watched some of our videos on YouTube. I don't know if he's listened to any of the podcast. Um, but, you know, he'll say something to me, and then I'll go off on a tangent about, like, do what you love, and, and, and if you're not doing what you love, then fucking get out of it and go do what it is that you love because why the fuck are you doing it, you know? Mm -hmm. And he'll be like, oh, yeah, absolutely, exactly, exactly, I'm with you, you know? So, like, and he's like, yeah, and then, you know, I love animated and everything else like that, blah, 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 so. Nice. And on that note, I would like to apologize for making your French-Canadian animator into a Russian guy. <laughs> yeah, no, super Russian. No, it was, it was fun. It was fun. Whenever we can get to the belly laughs on this show, you know you're doing the right. I loved it. It was funny and amazing. So, uh, well, I guess I would that. Yeah, like, we can call that, that's call a, that the... That's a we day. didn't even talk about that I'm going to Vegas. Oh, you that's to right. Vegas? I forgot this was the pre-Vegas show. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Vegas. So did you guys decide to take the car, or are you guys renting a car? We're renting a car. Let's see. You like <laughs> Chef Boy off fucking D? <laughs> well, he's a pussy. I it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, shit happens. I knew she was going to be against the idea. Yeah. So. I mean, that was my recommendation, but I'm a cheap bastard, so that's what I would do. I would just take it myself. Yeah. I've taken plenty of trips with my own cars. I, this fucking sound is it's weird. bullshit. It got, it, it got it quiet. It might just be mine. It got quiet for a little while, and then it got noisy again. I think it's just mine. Clonk. <laughs> but yeah, I think we so, were doing better when we were wrapping up. So here's the, here's the, pre, just the, the pre Vegas talk real quick while we wrap it up. So yeah, I'm going to Vegas. For? Um, going to a con? No, just kind of like... Sexy con? No, just like the last vacation before jumping in to peak at work mm. um, and I need to save the rest of my vacation time for next year's big trip so I can only carry over so much right so my vacation from this point out is going to be saved f for the rest of next year what do you have planned out to be over there though in Vegas yeah um I really just kind of want to get away and relax and just chill and not have a plan like go to New York New York Tijuana <laughs> go to Tijuana, you'll be close enough. Not really, it's another like nine hours down the Well, border. I mean, we're going to go see the Grand Canyon, I think. That's, which is like a five hour drive. Is it five hours? That's what she was saying. Yeah, I haven't seen the Grand Canyon, I've never been. So. I've never been either. And, should be fun. and you check out the Hoover the Dam. What's that? The Hoover Dam is cool. So she, I think Hoover Dam's on the way to the Grand Canyon, she was saying. So. Uh, yeah, because you go from Vegas down it's a lot past uh, 
the Mead, whatever, whatever that our, fucking lake is. And then is Grand Canyon is part of it in Nevada, or no. are we definitely going uh, to no, another state? No, you're going state? into Arizona. Yeah, definitely Arizona. going. Yeah. Okay. So Arizona is that fucking close Arizona's now. on the tip. Hopefully we don't run into any plague-ridden the fucking termites. Or what are they, fleas? Plague mites. Are they plague mites? Is that what they're calling them? Plague mite? Like, that's a new thing. No, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, I guess there are... Have, like fleas, I think they're fleas that have the plague that they're finding oh, now great. in like Arizona. So well, if you get the plague, plague please don't bring it back. <laughs> but I didn't. I, I don't. Maybe it's a one of those kind of hoax things, though. You never know. Did you get it from Facebook? I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, it's probably not true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I also heard that Trump was president on Facebook. Is no, that that's right? definitely true. <laughs> <laughs> but he's definitely not backed by the alt right. <laughs> Are you or sure? he is. He is never. We already remember. decided that the villains in X Men are the alt right. So. Well, yeah, they're like Hydra. Oh, oh wait, that was a different movie. <laughs> yeah, same Marvel, same company, Marvel. Same universe. Uh, yeah, no, no real plans. I just want to kind of yeah. go to bed when I'm tired, wake up when I wake up, instead of like. Oh, we 4 a.m. my alarm I and mean, absolutely like going to Disneyland and shit it's like oh we're paying to be here we gotta get up early we gotta go to bed so that we get enough night's sleep and we gotta hit these 50 things today we gotta hit these 50 things tomorrow and we gotta rush 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 and so and so wants to do this and we have to have character breakfast and I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm just kidding I no like, no what do they call that no uh, you shut up I like character breakfast no well, what do they call the, the character breakfast at Disneyland they call it they uh, call it character breakfast no 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 no, no. they call it the uh Special morning or princess morning. Well, there's different. Okay, so the way the 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 character magic, breakfast magic morning magic morning magic morning. Whatever. I know that some of the resorts like on property and off property, they do like their own thing. So like one of the places we went the first time we did character breakfast um, did you was off property. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> but I did get to meet Stitch, and he was fucking cool as shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite. You know that ain't yeah, that dog's know. real voice. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for spoiling it for everybody else. <laughs> so, anyway, the one off property was, I mean, it's all fucking Disney. It's all the same people, same company. They all work for the company. Right. Get in the soup. Get in the soup. <laughs> Smile at the kids. I, I feel like that one was more... Off property? Yeah, the one off property was kind of like it was more crazy. Mm-hmm. I know we're totally off subject now, but it was more crazy because it seemed like there was more people that wanted to do the one off property, and really it wasn't any cheaper, mm-hmm. like not by much. The only difference was that we could make reservations. Mm-hmm. And but you're not already in the park. Exactly. So when you're done, a ride. exactly, you're done with breakfast. Now you have to you know, go back, wait in line walk, outside the gates. With walk the Mexicans. back, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't. There was a lot of Mexicans at the Halloween. When I went, yeah, they're wearing their fucking sugar skull masks and face paint. And no, it wasn't like that. They were mostly yeah, like, they were like, November first. Was like November first. yeah, well, they were celebrating on American soil at that point. There was a lot so of Spider Man. It's close enough. A lot of, of Mexican Spider Man, like like Pablo Spider Man, <laughs> <laughs> Pablo Parker, <laughs> Pablo Parker. <laughs> what's what's uh, Spider and Pedro? Spanish? Uh, Aranya? Aranya. 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 What's that? El Hombre Aranya. <laughs> El Hombre Aranya. El Hombre Aranya. Or, um, no, what's, what's Sir again? Senor? Senor Alondra? <laughs> Senor Hombre Aranya. <laughs> Senor Hombre Aranya. Aranya. Alanya. Romulan. Uh, Romulan, Alanyan. <laughs> Onion. Amulan. Pedro Parker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dios mío! Dios mío! <laughs> Maria! <laughs> Mary Jane, Maria. Maria Jane, Maria Jane, <laughs> Maria Juan, <laughs> Maria Juana, Maria Juana. <laughs> <laughs> it, it gets bad again. It gets, it gets terrible. That's great. That's a that's a comedy routine in a movie. Um, copyright, patent pending. Don't fucking steal that. Fuck you, Maria Juana. <laughs> I really hope that hasn't been in a movie already. Uh, it's probably. probably. You never know. Oh, we could look it up. Man. Hey, but you know what? The book that Sean Whalen was plugging today was called Steal Like an Artist. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. Like, I'm going like to go get it. Everything. Well, and that's, and that's basically what he talks about in the book is, 
Nothing's original. It's just like uh, Herzog was saying. It's Not steal, Herzog. Uh, uh, who said that? Steal everything. Jim Jarmesh. Jarmesh? Yeah. Okay. But steal everything. Steal everything and make it your own. And make it your own. It's not about copying people's work. It's about taking inspiration from other people's work. So there's no such thing as an original anything right. anymore. Everything's already been done. But whatever is yours is yours. Own it and don't fucking... Don't compromise. Don't apologize. No, fuck no. Make... You don't Alex, ever... don't apologize. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 All right, let's wrap it up, Corey. Uh, well, thanks for listening to the Podcast. I'm Matt Bonta. Alejandro Garcia. Corey Easley. 